Yo, what's up? What's up? Victor Brown here from Napster Films, guys. And today, guys, we're going to do something so exciting. I was watching one of the TikTok videos, and I, I think it's from a guy who's called Josh VFX. So you can just check him out. So he had this amazing effect, which actually is what we are seeing playing right now here. So he was just floating in the air like this and he was using his phone and had an idea what if I do this inside DaVinci Resolve and guys you're going to shoot the video like this after you've recorded your clip now you should have something like this it should be one clip so the part that i want is just this so this is my in point and i'm going to play Zero to two. Two. Uh, you uh -huh. something like this maze if even you're making a record so and this is my out point this should be my out point let me just scroll, bit. scroll bit. to this area where i come down bit. So this is my out point. So I'm going to drag this clip. I don't need the audio. So I'm going to drag the video below here. And I'm going to find the clip where after the after the chairs are removed. So where the guy is out of the frame. So let me just use here. Let me just say here. This is my in point. And my out point here doesn't actually matter. So I'm going to drag the clip here below and I'm going to place it under video layer track 2 so I'm going to create another video track and I'm going to which actually here guys I already have a, a video video track so I'm going to place it under video track 2 so I'm going to highlight all this by left clicking and then I'm going to right click and highlighting I'm going to click this and I'm going to say fusion new fusion clip so we have another fusion composition in here I'm going to select the clip and I'm going to go right away into the fusion tab. So, alright guys, we're inside the fusion tab. So, under media one, we, we see we have our nodes. We have our media one, we have our media two, and we have our merge node. Actually, the merge node is what just, is, this is what we use to link the clips together. So, and then we have our media out. This is our final output. So, this is what we should be seeing this is the final node actually this is what carries everything that is composed in here so right away i'm going to select the media one and i'm going to hit one on my keyboard and i'm going to select media two and i'm going to hit two on the keyboard so if if i select media one you can see guys we have this is the clip where we have the chairs inside so i'm going to press f2 on my keyboard and right away it brings this rename tool which actually this is i'm going to hit backspace and i'm going to call this float let's just say floating floating let's say floating clip so and i'm going to hit enter and right away you see your, our node is just renamed i'm going to press to select the media tool and i'm going to press f2 and i'm going to call this standing let's just say standing so right guys this is what we have now i'm going to move around these clips so you, you see we have our floating clip this is the background and we have our standing clip this is our foreground so it means that this this just means when this green line it just means that the foreground this is the, the clip that is on top of the clip and the background this is the clip that is below so i'm going to switch this and after i've just switched them so we should have something like this and on my standing clip I'm going to go under this node here so if you don't have this this is the base plane if you don't have this you can just hit shift and space bar and then just write base plane like, the, like so and you add this and add so right away we see the base plane and under the spline we have 
let me just say invert like so so that i can see through not actually the clip that i'm floating so that i can see this clip so right away i'm going to hit this node here single viewer tool so that i see everything in one viewer so i'm going to hit there and right away guys i'm going to stretch this so that we can have we can see it clearly so i'm going to place markers in here so i'm going to put one marker here another one here and another one here, let's say there another one here and another one here i'm going to do this roughly and another one here so that i close this out and i'm going to if i press the uh, if i press here you can see i'm forming another keyframe mark so i'm going to zoom here by holding control and i'm scrolling using my scroll wheel so that i can zoom in here and right away guys i'm going to place keyframes let me just say here i'm going to place keyframes under this hand because if i do this you can see you can see the hands are holding so i i just want to remove this so i'm going to do like so or like so and i'm going to hit invert so that i can see everything with clarity so i'm going to be placing markers in here so i'm going to select and i'm pressing i'm going to hit another marker here in here and i'm going to do this so you keep on doing this and i'm going to place another marker here and that one here so that i lower this one here so like so so that i don't cut out this hand like so so i'm going to zoom a little bit in here so that you can follow the hand so this should be quite an entertaining session but, but guys you, you guys you know if, if you want to do vfx you have to make them as believable and they should look real as much as possible because you have to to make them believable so right away guys i'm going to do this and i'm going to zoom in here so that I, I don't hide this hand and what you're trying to hide here guys is the hands here because the other in the other clip we had the hands holding the chair so we are going to hide that so i'm going to go to the next frame which actually i'm going to use my arrow key so i'm going to hit my right arrow key so you see here we've jumped from to the next frame and i'm going to keep on masking this out using the b plane so i'm going to make this small adjustment and i am going to keep on doing this another keyframe forward and i'm going to place it closer to the hand so that it, i hide out everything that i'm doing here so that people don't notice the tricks easy so i'm going to do this
so right after you're done after you're done you should have something like this so this is the final thing after you mask out everything and I'm going to go under the soft edge here and I'm going to place it under 0 0.0078 this is the place where I've seen it work best so this is the only setting you're going to touch after you've done all your masking and you've done masking out everything and I'm going to leave everything like this and I'm going to go back to the edit tab so if I go back to the edit tab I should I'm going to let this clip play I'm going to let it load so that it turns blue on top here and once it turns blue then we are good to go we are, we are done and And that's it guys for today this is how you do it finally you should have something like this so this is the final output and see you next time guys and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment so see you next time guys